Praise the Lord. This is Brother Lou. Today I'd like to talk to you about time and season. And to help us um, discuss this topic, let's look at a scripture from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. It reads, Do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Another translation of the same scripture says, Go and learn the fact that one day with the Lord is like a thousand years. Another translation says, do not be ignorant of this fact. And to help us understand this fact, let's look at the story of, of Lazarus. And we'll look at it from John chapter 11, from verse 1. It reads, now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister, Martha. This is the Mary whose brother Lazarus now lay sick was the same one who put perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sisters sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. How can they come to that situation and say, Lord, the one you love is sick? Come quickly, come now. Let's look at the, 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 the account in Luke chapter 10, verse 38. It explains the relationship they had with the Lord. Luke chapter 10 from verse 38. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened a home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. So, that based on the relationship they had, listen, Martha opened up a house to Jesus and his disciples. Mary sat at, uh, at the Lord's feet listening. See, we need to open up our heart. The same thing, if I stand door, door of your house and knock, if you open up to me, I will come in. You need to sit at his feet, to listen to his word, to study his word. Because the Bible says, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, you can remember in this same, in this same um, account, in Luke 10, from verse 38 to 41, the same thing happened. Jesus was preaching. Mary sat at his feet. Martha came to Jesus. Tell my sister to come and help me in the kitchen so that I can prepare all what is necessary. And Jesus answered her in verse 41. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but only one thing is needful. Mary has chose what is better and it will not be taken away from me. Listen, in this period of coronavirus, everything is shut down. We need to get our priorities right. We need to open up our heart to the Lord. We need to sit at his feet to listen because everything is not going well. We are upset about so many things. There are so many deadlines we cannot meet. Work is not going on. This is shut down. There's no, there's no, there's no income. There's no finances. You have so many things. But one thing is needful, the priority, you need to open up your heart. You need to sit at his feet to listen to what his words. You need to be focused based on this relationship, communion and fellowship that they had with Jesus. They were able to say here in John 11, they were able to send the message. So the sister sent words to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is sick. And if you look at the place, right? Verse 4 says, when he heard this, Jesus said, the sickness is not unto death. No, it's for God's glory. So God's son may be glorified through it. The same way in this situation, you can pray. You can pray to the Lord. But the Lord did not show up. This was the Lord telling his disciples, this situation I have had is not unto death. I'm working on it at the right time. Because I hold time and season in my hand. I'm able to do what is necessary. You know the story. Jesus tarried the same place he was where he was. And he didn't go until four days later. Lazarus was now dead. He was buried. And that's the scripture for today. We need to understand that a day with the Lord is like a thousand years. If you do the mathematics by ratio and proportion, it's, it's like one hour with the Lord is like 42 years. One minute with the Lord is like 0 0.7 years. One second with the Lord is like 4.2 days. Jesus tarried four days. When he now got there, Martha said, oh, if he had come, my brother wouldn't have died. Jesus said, don't worry, I'm here now. The same statement Mary repeated when he saw Jesus. He said, show me where the Lord Jesus, don't worry. He's now dead four days. 
There's nothing can be done. He says, don't worry. I, I hold time and season in my hand. I know. And I don't know your situation right now. I don't know the situation you're going through. If, that, if God doesn't show up today, maybe you are done. Maybe you're unable to meet the up the house rent. You're able to pay for bills that are due. But God, in his own time, he makes all things beautiful. But remember, in this course, you need to open up your house. Open up your heart to the Lord. Sit at his feet. Study his word. Pray unto him. Send message to him. And he will answer you. A day with the Lord is like a thousand years. So four days later, when Jesus arrived on the situation, it was not an hopeless situation. He knew about it. And he has spoken the word that this situation is not unto death. I'm here to encourage you that the situation you're going on through now, your situation will not lead to death. It will be for the name of God to be glorified. If only you will accept Jesus into your heart, open the door of your heart to him. Sit at his feet, at his word. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Get your priorities right. Put him first. And he will never fail you. Because he holds your time in his hands. In his time, he makes all things beautiful. Amen. Let us pray. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise. As some men understand slowness. The very day I call for help, the tide of the battle turns. My enemies flee. This one thing I know, God is for me. Father, as you are with Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego in the fire, they had to go to the fire. You were there with them. They did not burn. As you are with Daniel, not at the mouth of the lion's den, but he was thrown into the lion's den. You were with him. Lord, I know you are with us in our situation right now, and it will not lead to death in the name of Jesus. You are the same today, yesterday, and forever. Our time is in your hands. We are rest assured that our situation will not head in death. No, but it will be for the name of God to be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Remember, in his own time, he makes all things beautiful. Remember that you cannot call on the name of the Lord and be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Time and season are in his hands. He's able to collapse time, equalize time, and elongate time, our time in his hands. A day with the Lord is like a thousand years, and a thousand years with the Lord is like one day. So trust in him, in his time, he makes all things beautiful, and he will never fail you. You will never be put to shame. Amen. God bless you.